I think that, you know, if you were to, to look at newspapers and television programs and to assess the importance, the kinds of issues we think are important by the amount of time and space devoted to different issues, you would say, well, Canadians are interested in politics, they're interested in business, they're interested in sports, and they're interested in celebrity. I mean, those are the issues that our media are obsessed with. And yet, to me, the great challenge is that none of those issues is of anything like the importance of science. Science when applied by industry, medicine, and the military. Look at the governments that we have in the United States, Australia, and Canada today. We've got leaders in these three countries who've denied the reality of global warming, or at least the human contribution to it. Even though the scientific community in each of these countries for over 20 years has been saying global warming is a very serious issue we've got to act on. And yet our political leaders can say, no, I don't believe it. It'll destroy the economy. I'm not going to do anything. And I think that's a fundamental problem of scientifically, scientific illiteracy in, our, in these respective countries. And right now, I think that as a culture, Canadians have very, I mean, I'm thrilled to see the attendance tonight, to see the interest in, in geology. But the reality is, overall, Canadians are scientifically illiterate, and then we are really out of control of our, our destiny, because major forces are impinging on our lives now, and we have to be scientifically literate to deal with them. Just my little commercial.